does DaVinci Resolve run like this on your computer? Of course, you could buy a new one, but why if you can do these steps to make it run smoothly? Set DaVinci Resolve as a high priority program in the task manager. Simply press Windows plus R, then type in task MGR, everything lowercase, all together, and in the details tab, find DaVinci Resolve. Then right click, set priority, and choose high or real time. I recommend high. Note that this will make other programs run slower. For Mac users, I have no idea how you do it. But if you know, then please let me know down in the comments. Now another tip for Windows users, but if you are a Mac user, you can skip to this point. So now, we will be prioritizing our GPU to use more power when editing your video. Go to Settings, Graphics Settings, Browse, and then select DaVinci Resolve just like so. Now we'll be changing the settings inside of DaVinci. Open a new project, and in the Playback tab, look for Timeline Proxy Resolution. Here, select Half or Quarter. It basically downscales the playback resolution by half or a quarter. It really improves the frame rate of the playback and reduces lag. Render Cache. Go to the Playback tab, find Render Cache, and there choose User or Smart. What this does is it saves effects added onto footage to the cache memory. It reduces GP usage because it doesn't render the effects again and again every time you play the clip. <laughs> but seriously guys, I spent multiple hours planning, editing and recording these videos and if you've enjoyed this video so far then please subscribe, it really motivates me. Use proxies. Right click onto one of your clips and select generate proxy media. It creates a low resolution copy of that file and uses it while you edit your video. When you start rendering though, it switches back to the original high resolution footage. Make sure these two settings under playback are checked for this to work correctly. Use 1080p or 720p for your project's video resolution while editing. It really affects the performance because when editing in 4K, your computer might really struggle, but with this tip, it only has to edit videos in 1080 or 720p.